Welcome, Namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, we are going to answer a very important question. The question is Does varicocele surgery improve sperm count? Now, basically, what is a varicocele? A varicocele is nothing but the dilatation of the venous drainage that's present in the testis. If you look at the image on the right, I've shown the image of the normal venous drainage that's present in the testis versus a varicocele. So as you can clearly see in the image on the right, in, during, in a varicocele what basically happens is there's a dilatation of the venous plexus or the papinform venous plexus in the testis and the, the lot of studies have you know kind of actually shown or have uh, you know suggested that varicocele you know basically having a varicocele affects your semen parameters. So a lot of association has been drawn between low sperm count, low sperm motility, male infertility and the presence of a clinical varicocele in patients who are trying for children. Now a lot of patients are already depressed because of the infertility and subfertility as such and what's basically happening is a lot of fertility experts including urologists and andrologists are strongly advocating varicocelectomies which is basically a procedure where you know they kind of ligate and uh, you know surgically ligate these dilated tortuous veins. So their uh, patients are put through these procedures and these procedures cost anywhere between 40,000 rupees to about a lakh or lakh and a half depending on the type of technique that's used. And what patients basically expect is that post the procedure, so before the procedure they may they might have had a report which showed low sperm count with a concentration less than 15 million, sometimes even lower, or a, a report which shows you know very very low motility values, along with an ultrasound finding of a varicocele, which could be grade one or grade two or grade three. And what patients normally expect is post procedure there will be an improvement in the sperm count and sperm motility. Now, an important point to understand here is that. Uh, varicocele lectomy as a procedure or varicocele lectomy procedures are not recommended as a fertility you know uh, uh, fertility enhancing procedure and this is simply because the UK NICE guidelines in the year 2013 very clearly stated that you should varicocele lectomies are not to be done routinely for patients who are you know seeking a fertility evaluation uh, or you know a fertility treatment and there are much more better techniques that can be used effectively in place of it and this is because it's quite simple to understand see a lot of uh, randomized control trials have come a lot of studies claim that varicocele ectomies uh, you know or the surgery to correct the varicocele improves the seven parameters but what is the actual percentage of improvement it's actually very very low so there were two large scale RCTs which were published one in the year 2011 and the one in the year 2011, one in the year 2012 in uh, a very respectable and reputable journal. And in this study, they had, in, in this particular randomized control trial, they had, looked, they had looked at about 11 to 13 studies. And what they had found was, when they looked at the data and did a statistical analysis, they found that doing varicocelectomy improved the sperm parameters in terms of motility only by about 9.69% and concentration just by about 10 million per ml, which, is, which are actually very mega numbers. The most important point to bear in mind here is that uh, none of these studies actually account for the natural variation that is present in a semen sample. So what basically happens is if a semen, if, a, if an individual gives a semen sample today, he may have a count of 15 million per ml. If he gives it tomorrow, he may have a count of even 35 million per ml. And the same applies even to motility. So did the varicocelectomy surgery actually cause the improvement or was it just a natural variation that the study had actually uh, picked up and they're reporting as a finding is the biggest debate. That, uh, that's going on as of today and uh, as far as uh, we are concerned in our clinical experience and even my professor who's a very who is a very popular andrologist and a very uh, very uh, very famous andrologist one of the oldest andrologists in India his name is Professor Pandya he has published a beautiful article on varicocelectomy called Vida Varicocelectomy I have put a link to the article in the description below I, I implore you please do read it varicocelectomies do not improve fertility in any way this is because First of all, the data is highly skewed. We look at natural variations and we are assuming that the surgery caused the change when it could have been a natural variation itself. And the second biggest uh, problem is that a large proportion of healthy fertile men who have fa fathered children in the first year of marriage themselves, you know, have varicocelectomy anywhere from about 15% all the way to 30% of men. So if you take 100 men from the road and you put them through an ultrasound scan, a varicocele is going to be seen in 15 to 30 percent of them anyway so will we go and cut all of them up open and do a surgical procedure i think it's a very stupid thing to do i strongly believe it's also my personal opinion that varicocelectomies do not work varicocelectomies do not improve sperm count and to give you a bonus point you know above all this studies have clearly shown that even if varicocelectomies improve the sperm count even if they improve the sperm count 
it does not mean they improve the pregnancy rate for couples who are trying for a child, right? So you have had a varicose surgery. You have noticed an improvement in your sperm count, but that does not mean your wife is going to become pregnant. So that's the biggest catch here. And the improvements that you see in terms of sperm count with a varicose electomy surgery can be obtained. An equivalent improvement can be obtained with very, very simple lifestyle and dietary modifications itself. Healthy lifestyle, healthy sleep. And I've made numerous videos in this YouTube channel, which shows you very, very natural strategies that you can employ at home to improve your sperm count. So, does varicose electomy surgery improve the sperm count? In, in all, the right answer is no. Does varicose electomy surgeries lead to improved fertility? The answer is again no. Should you undergo a varicose electomy surgery? The answer is definitely no. Even if you have grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, regardless of the grade, I do not recommend varicose electomy surgeries. The evidence is highly, highly biased, highly skewed. A lot of patients are being lobbied towards the surgery today. It's very, very saddening. Please take a second opinion before jumping into a surgery. There are far better fertility procedures that have at least some gear, some some semblance of success in terms of pregnancy rate as compared to varicose. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah Wanakam signing off for now.